What you guys got the uh, Venkio Leisure 420 home theatre projector with the portable projector screen and also we got the projector stand as well. Now this is the full home theatre kit where you can get set up and watch all your movies, play games, do pretty much whatever you like with this home theatre uh, setup. So we're going to be reviewing all of this stuff in one go and also I'll be showing you some footage at the end of the video. If you want to skip all this stuff you can do and watch the footage but it might be advisable to watch it because then you get to know what's in the kit. Okay so let's take a look at the tripod and mounting plate here. You've got an anti-slip uh, rubber pad here. Also a big plate which is where your projector is going to sit on and there you've got your mounting uh, screw there on the bottom which will screw into your tripod. I'll show you this a little bit later on in the video got a carry bag here and an actual tripod which is made of aluminium the actual legs have got these little clips on them which allow you to extend uh, the legs out so you can stand it up on its tripod which gives it a nice bit of height now turning this little arm will raise the tripod up even higher you've got your little bubble here to get it level and you've got your mounting screw here so just pull these out and tighten this off and you've got a little carry handle there as well. I'm just going to extend these by unclipping this. And once the tripod's fully standing up on its legs, it should be the perfect height for your screen. Now, if you do need a little bit more height, if you can turn this little arm here on the tripod, and this will give it a little bit more height. And there is a bubble on there so you can keep the level. Okay, let's take a look at that screen. Now, this screen is quite a large screen. Now you can see the uh, material is made of polyester and spandex material. They've got a visual range of 87 by 49 or 105 by 59. The diagonal is 100 inches or 120 inches. And you've got the weight is 600 grams or the 810 gram version. And the screen ratio is 16 by 9. So they have got a, project a projector screen of 100 inch and 120 inch version. Okay. So let's get this out the box. Now you can use this indoor or outdoor. Got some sort of warranty card here. And you can see this is the 120 inch version. So it's quite a big screen. And uh, it does have some eyelets in it so you can uh, hook it up. And they do give you a bunch of hooks in here. But this is the 120 uh, inch version, which is quite a large uh, screen for internal. You should need quite a big home to uh, put this up. But I'll put the uh, screen up just to show you. Now you've got these little eyelets on here where you can hook it onto little hooks if you want to keep this up permanently. Now I'm just going to be uh, sort of makeshifting this up with some tape to hold it up and some clips uh, so I can move it afterwards because I don't want to keep this up all the time. Uh, but I'll show you that a little bit later on. Let's move on to the projector here. Now this is the Leisure 420 home theatre projector. And uh, this is a pretty decent projector if you want to get some high quality high definition uh, images and uh, it comes in a nice bag as you can see here so you can store it away after you've uh, finished with it I'm just going to get this out to show you and uh, it comes with all, everything you need in here to project uh, movies onto the screen pictures uh, games uh, it's multi uh, platform which means you can just use just about anything here you've got a HDMI cable in here you've got your three pin uh, plug if you lived in the US, you also would come with a US uh, plug. You've got your remote control and you've got your video uh, cable here. So you can just uh, do video and audio uh, through there if you wanted to. Now you're also going to get a quick start guide and a user manual to help you set up uh, your projector. It's pretty straightforward to set up, but um, just give it a good read and it'll let you understand how to use the uh, menu buttons and stuff like that. And once you get used to it, it's pretty straightforward. Now, uh, you've also got a quick start guide here, which is going to be pretty useful as well. So moving on to the projector here, we've got our focus and also we have our keystone here to get a nice picture. You've got your menu buttons and your power buttons, OK button. And we've also got the front end here, which is where your light is going to come out. Uh, so we've got a cover on here as well. Pretty standard for most projectors. And also on the side I think that is you've got yourself your SD card input you've also got your USB your two HDMI here and also you've got your AV and your headphones 
Now these sides on here for your speakers and ventilation. You've got a VGA on there as well. Now on the bottom you've got some anti-slip rubber feet. And you've got your little uh, screw at the front where you can raise it up if you need to. You've got your power input here as well. And uh, the sound quality on this is pretty good. You can change up the sound quality. Now this is the specs here. If you want to pause the screen you can do. This gives you all the information about what the video formats you can play and audio formats. Again, this is a multi uh, connection type projector which means your mobile phone, tablets, fire sticks, audio devices, USB sticks, laptops, Chromecast and this is what it's going to look like uh, once you get it all set up on your tripod and I think it looks pretty awesome and if you're looking to get some really good high quality pictures onto the screen then this is the way you can set it up. Now I've sort of made a makeshift one here I've got some tape holding it up on two doors but basically if you was doing this for a permanent fixture you could put those hooks on the wall and get this nice and taut uh, so you get a nice quality uh, straight picture but you can see here it doesn't look too bad I've done a pretty good job considering uh, I've just taped it to two doors but this is your basic menu here movie music photo and uh, text and you can see I'm using a USB 2.0 flash drive on here but you can connect just about anything to uh, this particular type of projector. It has loads of features on the uh, projector menu but let's play some uh, movies and take a look what it looks like here. <laughs> I think you agree that the picture quality is pretty good considering I'm recording this via my phone but you can see the quality there is pretty awesome the sound is good you're getting good bass and uh, if you see it in the flesh you'll get a much better idea of what it actually looks and sounds like now I've showed you the full kit here you don't need to buy all of this stuff you can just buy the projector if you wish or you can buy the screen or whatever it is you want to buy the tripod and the mount but basically that is the full kit what I've showed you what they offer. It's a pretty decent bit of kit for setting up a home theatre system, especially if you've got friends and family around, especially Christmas coming up and you want to do some sort of big show or something like that and show a movie and show it up on the screen. It will look absolutely awesome. And I'll leave all the links in the video description if you're interested. And uh, anyway, I think I'm going to wrap this one up. Uh, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with that. So my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.